Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for May 30th. Today is Thursday of the eighth week of ordinary time. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just. Give answer. Do not call your servants to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness. Like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer. For my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice, Rejoice with Jerusalem, Jerusalem and, and be, be glad because of her. All you who love, love her, exalt, exalt, exalt with her. All you who are mourning over her. Oh, that, that you may be sucked fully of the milk of her comfort, that, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, 
Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise, praise the Lord for He is good. Sing, Sing to our God for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give him thanks. Sing song to our God with a heart. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve God's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him and those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who once subjected it yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's reading, the Apostle Paul gives a beautiful dissertation of salvation history. From the very beginning, creation was made for good. Sin came into the world, but in the end, we will all be freed from that slavery of sin. It was through Jesus Christ who came and redeemed us that we are allowed to participate in that glorious salvation. Through baptism, we were cleansed and entered into that Trinitarian love, baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is through baptism that we are allowed to participate in the love that God the Father has for the Son by loving God first and then loving our neighbor. Many times in our lives, we are blinded by sin. And in today's gospel, we hear of a blind man who calls out to Jesus. And Jesus says, what do you want? 
He says, I want to see. Jesus allows him to see, cures his blindness, and says, your faith has healed you. We too many times are blind. Even though we're baptized and cleansed, we fall into our old ways. But the church has given us beautiful ways of coming back to the grace of God through confession, receiving the Eucharist, hearing God's word, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. These are all ways that we can improve our faith walk and draw closer to that holiness that we were called to. And so today, as we continue our prayer service, we thank God for giving us that opportunity to be a part of salvation history, to be saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. And we thank God that he has allowed us to share that with others. So we pray, Lord, open the eyes of our heart that we may always see you and share that joy with all those around us. God bless you and have a wonderful day. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O oh Lord. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O oh Lord. Always you are there to help me. I think of you, O oh Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O oh Lord. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give, Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray to God, who gives salvation to his people. You are our life, O Lord. Blessed are you, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for by your mercy we have been reborn to a living hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, you made man in your image and renewed him in Christ. Mold us into the likeness of your Son. Pour out your love through the Holy Spirit. Heal our hearts, wounded by hatred and jealousy. Today, grant works to liberers, bread to the hangry, joy to the sorrowful, grace and redemption to all men. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord God Almighty.
Dear Lord God Almighty, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear God, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. You, you are, are our life, life, O Lord. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us pray lord let the knowledge of salvation enlighten our hearts so that freed from fear and from the power of our enemies we may serve you faithfully all the days of our life we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.